Hi, I'm Bob O'Donnell, and I have dementia. It's probably Alzheimer's, but it's too, too soon to tell. Um, I've been to very good neurologists, and uh, they don't, they can't really nail it down. But the important thing is, is I have all the signs of dementia. Uh, I forget conversations. I can't think of words. Um, uh, I can't, I just, just, to, my memory is terrible. I, I can't read books very well at all anymore. And after I read, uh, 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 half an hour of a book one day, I don't even know what was in the half an hour the next day. Uh, most of the time I can't remember what went on yesterday or the day before. Um, I have very, a very difficult time in uh, remembering a sentence that you tell me now and later. But my verbal communication isn't shot yet. Um, I've decided to write an autobiography of what it's like uh, to have dementia and put it on the web. I decided to do that about 10, 12 months ago. And what I do is I record for half an hour uh, every month what's going on inside my head. Now, why don't uh, people, why would people be interested in this? Uh, if you go on the web right now, where well, you can read books, and the books are all written by people who don't have dementia, I want people to know what it feels up here to have dementia. Uh, when I go to group settings where the caregivers are there, they talk all the time about uh, the discord, the, the cacophony, te the communication is terrible. And at most of the meetings for, where, for people with dementia, they keep the mouth shut. So people don't know what it's like. Very recently, there's been uh, the well-acclaimed movie, uh, Still Alice, that book, it was written, it's fiction, and it was written by a, a journalist who went around to a lot of people who don't have dementia, and there are about four or five people she interviewed with dementia. But most of the material that she brought in was what people who don't have dementia say about what people like me feel. And when I hear those people think, I mean, excuse me, when I hear those people speak or I read about them, I say to myself, that's not me. That's not how I felt about that. And when I talked to the few people I know that have dementia, it gave me an insight that people don't know me. Oh, and they don't know why I don't say things, why I say things that don't make sense. And there's a niche there. If you want anything factual about Alzheimer's disease, other than this niche of how I feel, go to the Alzheimer's Association. They're fantastic things about, they don't, they don't touch how I feel. Um, I went to them and said, would you like me to keep a, an autobiography, by a video, audio biography of once a month, I'll record a half an hour of what's been going on in the past month. And the only thing I'll get, it won't be edited. It'll include feelings. It, it'll go all the way from tears to some laughter, some joy and happiness, and just utter anger at this expletive disease. It will be kind. We no unkind words, but you'll see it grow. It's on, the, it's right now on the internet. And at the end of this YouTube, I'm going to put up a, uh, a poster board and uh, it'll have very clearly, very clearly, um, uh, a, the, the URL. It's, it's a set of letters and dots and, and it ends with unh.com. It's, it's like www.google.com. It's like that. You don't put in any www's ahead of time. You put that stuff in hit return, and it'll bring up my website. I can't put it on easily at all on this, 
because uh, half an hour a month is six hours a year. And this is going to take about seven or more years to make it so that I won't be able to even verbalize. So that's a huge amount of material to put on the web as, as a YouTube. So I'm using this YouTube to get you to go and look at my website. It's free. And, uh, the, 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 you know, I have the, the hardware I'm going to need till I die from it. And, uh, if you go and you just, and you're starting off, it'll tell you about my biography. I'm supposed to be a smart dude. I went to MIT. I have a PhD. But believe me, this head right now, you know, uh, I'm not, I'm not well hunting. I'm more like the janitor. But the long term memory is good. Anyway, right now I'm going to go and switch over and I'll talk a little bit over. Yeah, it's six minutes now. I'm going to talk over the, the sheet that they'll have, uh, at the end that'll have how to get to it. Um, my neurologist thinks it's a great idea. If you go to the Mass General Hospital, uh, research website, that they have with Harvard Medical School. Uh, there's it says resources and it says take a look at Bob O'Donnell's website. We're getting a lot. We got so far of oh, 15 to 20 people outside the U.S. Europe look at it regularly. I'm up to about 40, 50 states. Uh, I haven't got the money. I'm not in this to make money. I'm in this to communicate to caregivers, to physicians but mostly to the people that are alone inside their own head. That I don't think people know how bad it is to have this kind of a mind. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to sign off this portion and see if this will go up on it, how to go to my website. And in case you just want to run to it, it the, the URL is F T D. A dot C S dot U N H dot E D U. Uh, oh, my name is Bob O'Donnell and, uh, thank you very much for listening.